At 6.30, Joe Connolly is woken up. He does not have a girlfriend. At 6.45, Joe Connolly... At 7 o'clock, Joe Connolly is woken up by his alarm. He still does not have a girlfriend. To the right is his best mate, Frisbee. Right. At this moment, they are totally unaware of what is about to unfold. <laughs> Nerves overtaking him, Joe cannot bring himself to open boots. For Joe, this was a first. From a girl? Uh, yeah? Wow. Joe, do you know what this means? Joe knew exactly what this meant. What? What does it mean? Molly? Who? This confuses things for Joe. For there were two possible Mollies. Molly number one was Molly Anderson. As far as he could tell, she enjoys listening in class, Shh. cleaning her glasses and maths. In their future <laughs> together, they would go on sensible dates and go bird watching. Oh, a bird. When they wed, by which point Joe would of course be an astronaut, they would be happy and Joe would be free to pursue his intergalactic dreams and... Get a real job, like accounting or business. Oh, sorry, I can't, I can't hear you. I'm, I'm in a space suit. Anyway, Molly number two was Molly Wood. She seemed to enjoy singing, laughing about things that Joe really had no idea about, and drawing hearts and flowers in her workbooks. She once borrowed Joe's pen. Sadly, she forgot this, and Joe never asked for it back. Joe really didn't feel prepared to deal with that sort of baggage. What about hot Molly? There was a third option. An option Joe had failed to consider for its sheer absurdity. Hot Molly. She was popular and cool for reasons Joe didn't entirely understand. But that didn't matter. She was Hot Molly. Instantly Joe recognised this feeling. I love her. And he would defend her honour to his grave. I heard she let Cy Rich touch her boob. Don't you dare speak about her like that. It's not even from that Molly. If it was, in fact, from Hot Molly. Fueled by what Joe is certain is true love, he reaches deep down inside and manages to create what can only be described as romance. It's perfect. Molly wants to see you. Why? You're going to kiss. This was to be Joe's first kiss. A historic moment, not just for him, but in his life with Molly. Joe puts his fear to one side, closes his eyes, and purses his lips in preparation for the kiss. Molly says you're dumped.
Hi. All right. Do you want a sweet? Oh, I love flying saucers. What's your name? I'm Lily. Lily Scott, a quiet girl who always sat at the back of the class, became fiercely competitive with board games, and had a bizarre fascination with classroom ceilings. Sorry about Molly. That's okay. It's my fault. Molly hates me, and, and she wanted to make me jealous. Jealous? As Lily stood in front of Joe, everything made sense. Really? Um, yeah. Molly had never liked him, but that was okay. Great. Really? Because Lily did. Well, I was also wondering, the new Spider-Man film is out this week. I, I love Spider-Man. And right now, Joe could see that. Yeah. So... It was as clear well, as... Well, let me know if it's good. See ya. As Joe walks off, he feels the torn pieces of his heart being glued together. Then, like a bolt of lightning, it hits him. Lily. Him. Her. Spider-Man. <laughs> Thank you.